Do you often find yourself feeling scatterbrained or even a little forgetful? Or maybe you're exhausted all the time, no matter how much sleep you get. These are all signs that you may possibly have a dysregulated nervous system, and this is your body's way of calling attention to it. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you six common bodily signs of a dysregulated nervous system. But first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Dominique, and on this channel, I help you heal wholeheartedly, mind, body, soul, to become your best self. If this sounds like the type of inspiration you desire in your life, then I invite you to hit subscribe down below. Today's hustle culture has many of us greatly neglecting our emotional, physical, and overall mental well-being. On top of that, society has instilled this belief in us that in order to be successful, we need to work harder, work longer, expect more of ourselves, and view rest as unproductive. It is so exhausting to live every day focused on meeting expectations, not just others, but also our own, which inevitably leads to burnout for so many individuals. Our nervous system is that guide to alert us to when we are pushing ourselves far too much. But how often do we actually take the time to sit and listen to what our body is trying to tell us? I lived almost 30 years of my life ignoring all of the signs my body was sending me, and it led to me experiencing burnout and a dysregulated nervous system. I know I'm not alone in this, so in today's video, I wanna share with you six common signs of nervous system dysregulation so you have greater awareness of what might need addressing within your own life. Number one, increased body aches and joint pain despite eating healthy and exercising regularly. Now this can signify a dysregulated nervous system because of the inflammatory response that occurs when we are dysregulated. Of course, most of us are gonna experience sore muscles and sore joints at one point or another in our life, especially if you're an athlete or you enjoy working out at the gym and going hard at the weights. The problem is when we're experiencing these symptoms without any real cause. For example, if you work hard at the gym one day, you know you're going to be sore the next day or two. And if you play hard in one of your soccer games, you're probably going to be sore for a little while. But if you're not really changing anything that you're doing within your physical activity, and you're beginning to have symptoms of increased joint or muscle pain, that becomes a sign that there's something else going on. And when our nervous system is dysregulated, again, this is when we can begin to experience an increase in inflammation, which can cause these exact symptoms. Number two, hormone dysfunction. With a dysregulated nervous system, women can experience unexplained weight gain, premenstrual symptoms, and irregular periods. Hormone dysfunction is something that I actually experienced just a few months ago when I was working myself too hard and not tending to my body's needs. And yes, this still happens to me. I still experience nervous system dysregulation but I now know how to manage it. Because I was already at a point where I tracked my cycle regularly and I knew the symptoms that were common at different stages, I could recognize that I was definitely experiencing dysfunction. And for me, this looked like a period that lasted only one or two days when mine were typical as the five to seven day one and also experiencing premenstrual symptoms well before my cycle was due to start. Once I began to tend to my body's needs, it wasn't long after that I began to see my regular pattern return. Number three, anxiety, nervousness, or feeling on edge. This is one that I can relate very well to because alarm, anxiety is something that I have lived with in the past and I know it very well. With a nervous system that experiences frequent alarm 
This is a signal that your sympathetic nervous system is dysregulated. I've done a very thorough video on what anxiety really is. I'll leave that linked here in the cards because I go into much more detail regarding the sympathetic nervous system, but this is our fight and flight response. And early man needed to have this system really heightened as protection from potential threat or danger. And of course, this still lives within our bodies. This is part of our genes. It's when the system is going off in times where we're not in need of that alert to potential threat. And when we're experiencing chronic alarm where we tend to get stuck, this is another indicator that the nervous system is dysregulated a healthy nervous system is able to more easily flow in and out of these states of calm and alarm, depending on our circumstances. I'll leave part one of this series linked above in the cards because I go into greater detail in that video about the autonomic nervous system and the three main parts. I highly recommend checking out this video to gain more clarity and understanding of just how much your nervous system does for you. I also have a freebie linked down below that you can grab where it's a quick guide and overview of the autonomic nervous system and the three main parts I speak about. Number four is digestive dysfunction. These can be symptoms of excessive bloating, IBS, and even stomach pain. When it comes to the function of our digestion, the vagus nerve plays a major role within this. It's our vagus nerve that is actually what communicates 80% of the sensory information from our body to our brain. And the vagus nerve originates within the enteric system, our digestive system. When experiencing nervous system dysregulation, this directly affects the function of the vagus nerve. So if our vagus nerve is not functioning properly, our digestion won't be either. Number five is hypertension, also known as high blood pressure and elevated heart rate. Going back to our vagus nerve and the origin being within the enteric system, this nerve travels up the body. It's called the wandering nerve. It's our ninth cranial nerve. And within that pathway, it's connected to the cardiovascular system. When experiencing unexplained high blood pressure or elevated heart rate, especially when there are no other symptoms or signs that go along with it, this is a direct indicator that your nervous system is dysregulated and that the vagus nerve is not functioning properly, specifically the vagal break. The best way to understand the function of the vagal break is to imagine yourself on a bicycle going down a big hill. If you think of how the brake functions, where squeezing it gently allows you to slow your speed and maintain control, whereas letting go, you lose control and that pace speeds up. That's the exact way the vagal brake works. It's meant to slowly turn on to regulate heart rate, but when the vagal brake isn't functioning properly, this control is lacking and therefore the vagal brake can give too quickly, causing a quick spike in elevation and heart rate and blood pressure. And lastly, number six, sleep disturbance and daytime fatigue. This is yet another area where our nervous system plays a major role in that it helps to regulate our sleep. When our nervous system is dysregulated, this can be from a couple possible reasons. One of the reasons being that our sympathetic nervous system is overacting, which this system is our fight and flight response. So this means we can experience heightened overwhelm, excessive worry, anxiety, even fear and anger. So if our system is in this heightened zone, it creates so much fatigue within the body that this can lead to poor sleep and daytime fatigue. Another possibility for dysregulation could be that you're stuck in dorsal vagal, which is the part of our nervous system where we can begin to experience depression, sense of hopelessness, 
and even dissociation. If all of this is sounding very unfamiliar, no worries, I covered this much more in depth in the first video of this series. Again, it will be linked in the cards and that freebie I have linked down below also goes into much more detail about these different states. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. What is your biggest takeaway from this video? Or maybe you have an aha moment that you would like to share. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I invite you to give it a like. And while you're down there, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. In next week's video, I'm sharing three simple yet effective techniques to begin regulating your nervous system. So be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on it. Until next time, sending you so much healing love.